Collecting the mail, MSX games from Japan Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups and that's the plan He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail from Japan very light, it's only got a couple of things in it. These are probably the last items that I'll get off the um, seller that I've used for probably the last four years in Japan because they've stopped auctioning things. Um, just after Christmas they uh, suddenly changed, hardly getting any stock in. Um, you know, the listing was getting less and less and then all of a sudden everything changed to buy it now. Um, these, I think, three items in here represent uh, the only ones that I thought were worth the money at the time. And even since then, their prices have gone up quite extraordinarily. So, this will probably be it for that seller. I'll have to move on to other things. It's probably good for me anyway. Um, quite well packed, I will say. So, that's good. Some Japanese newspaper. And, uh, Two portable, actually. No, they're all for portable systems, technically. Um, very well wrapped, as they normally are from these people. And this is actually a Game Boy game I have been after for quite some time. Um, no, I'm not going for a complete collection of shooters on the Game Boy, just the ones that I really want. But I know there are a couple out there that are particularly expensive um, but I've never played this one, I've never seen a gameplay of it or anything like that and I've heard it's supposed to be reasonable and I'm actually quite forward, looking forward to um, trying it out and we can play it on uh, my um, um, Super Famicom using um, the Game Boy adapter and it is Sagai which is Darius and uh, more precisely I think it's modelled around Darius 2 the gameplay, um, if it's anything like Sagai on the Master System. I've never seen gameplay or anything like that, um, so very happy to get that. Um, cartridge connector doesn't look in too bad condition, I'll give it a bit of clean. The label's in really good condition, so very happy to get that. That's the first Game Boy game I've had for quite some time. Uh, okay, and moving right along. Uh, do this one first. Now, next one is for a system that I have had since it was new, and I've continued to collect the odd game for it. Um, I think I saw a video about this, about this, but I could be mistaken about the game. This was the cheapest than lot, wasn't very expensive at all, and it does actually look like it's a RPG, um, whereas I thought it was more. <laughs> actually a shooter but anyway it adds to my PSP collection it is black rock shooter but looking at the screenshots on the back it definitely looks very RPG ish it's in very good condition though and I've seen that listed for quite a lot of money so I think this was only I think about six dollars or something like that so it's in very good condition on once again I don't want to get a complete collection of PSP games it's really concentrating on arcade type games and shooters. Um, I do like Japanese manga though. Uh, this one looks particularly well things. And you never know, it could be one of those ones where you shoot into the screen too, so you never know. I'll just have to, I'll have to give it a play. I haven't really ever tried to record anything from the PSP, that's the only problem, so um, don't expect a gameplay for that one. I do apologise, but we'll definitely be playing the um, Sago on the Game Boy. And one more, I will. I'll demo this one. I'll set the camera up, camera up specifically to demo this one. But you're going to have to do the old playing behind the camera to do it. Um, I did actually previously own a copy of this, but it was only loose. And I mean, look, I'm not discounting that I got a good deal. So this is a game for the Neo Geo. Uh, pocket 
um, and so I had a Neo Geo Pocket Color in a box and then I had a whole lot of loose Neo Geo Pocket games, I actually really liked them, I had Metal Slug 1, 2, um, I had the um, uh, Pac-Man game, uh, there was a, like a dungeon crawler game, um, and quite a few others. But I traded that whole thing to get a second Vectrex with a whole lot of games that I didn't have. So um, and they all had their overlays. Um, and um, yeah, so I traded that for that. So at the time I was very happy with that deal and it was great. And it allowed me to get an almost full set of Vectrex games. And I also have most of the overlays. I also took the, um, the on off volume button off that one and put it on mine um, and I also I think I upgraded the my controller as well so it made my Vectrex system better and then I traded that Vectrex actually funnily enough back to the same person so just the Vectrex with no games um, for something else and I can't remember what, I, what that second trade was for but it was an interesting weird situation so anyway one of the games um, that I had back then, that I don't have now, that I've been looking for for ages, and this is the main item in this thing, is Metal Slug First Mission. And this time, I have a box. And it's in one of those really nice, um, hard plastic cases as well. And other than the plastic being a little loose, it's not too bad. It's in really, really good condition. These cases are wonderful. They've got a hard clasp here. Doesn't look like it's ever seen air. The manual's in perfect condition. The cartridge is really good and it's got a little case. And this is an excellent game. This is probably the game that I played the most on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. So very much forward to looking looking forward to playing that again. We're, we're going to have to set the camera up because um, I've got to show you what this is like because it's a, it is actually a really good version. Alright, so I'm excited and I want to go play these, so let's go do that now. Right, so here is Metal Slug First Mission. I'm going to have to play this through the viewfinder because I can't see it from this angle. And this is the thing, Neo Geo Pocket Color games are actually really well done. I'll press the wrong button. Okay, and you can select characters and everything like that. It's actually got really good music too. But unfortunately the units are not backlit, so you need to play them in the appropriate light and the right angle. don't have to wait for oh. don't have to wait for the um the character to um oops <laughs> it fell on me oh, well, you know we're gonna have to have another go Using a lamp to try and add extra light. Obviously, you see my, my ugly mug. Oh, 
Okay. You come straight back into action, which is quite nice in itself. Oh. Ooh, did it? Oh, well, it's an even attack. Got it. So, as you can see, it's nothing like the actual Metal Slug game. You know, the original arcade Metal Slug game. Oh, damn it. Um, I think they're spikes, aren't they? Whoa. That's right, there he is. Oh, damn it. Love how he does that balancing thing. Oh, they've got spikes on them. Ah. I think I can make it across that gap. Right, I've made it a bit further. Right. Oh, now I've got a tank. Cool. So as you can see, it's got lots of variety to it. Oh, oops, if you fly, let's get the plane through the viewfinder. If you don't let it fall out of the plane, you um, you miss out on some of this kind of stuff. You've got to go um, manual. I think we get attacked by some actual other planes in a minute. Well, there you go, Metal Slug. First mission. Um, really, really good game on the Geo Pocket. I do apologise for the video quality, but 
I'm not sure how to get rid of the reflection and also provide enough light, so... Ah. Well, anyway, let's go try out our Game Boy game. Right, here I go with Sagaia. Um, actually using my, um, my GameCube instead of um, the Super Game Boy. I uh, put it in this room somewhere and couldn't find it. But anyway, I haven't used the Super um, Game Boy for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, auto shot on level normal button. A shot B bomb, okay. Take it, which we press start to go. Cool. First weapon upgrade. Oops. Side shot me from behind. Yes, yeah, so it's not Darius 2, it's definitely Darius. Increase our bombs. from the bullets. Oh, fast. Bit harsh when they come from behind in a quite a tight game. Forward 5,000 increased now. Gee, lucky the shield's good. So, this is not half bad. I would enjoy playing this on the Game Boy itself, but it's obviously fun and easier to show you what it's like using this. The levels seem quite long too. Oh, I missed you. Coming in slightly harder patterns. Bomb. Oh. Look at that shield's pretty generous. Okay, first boss. Change up in the music. Here he comes. Oh. Luckily, he doesn't seem to have a laser weapon at the moment. Surprise myself. Cool. Well, I'm quite impressed so far, so this is um, very playable. Don't 
don't get to choose zones so I'm interested to see that. Managing to stay alive, and our weapons are upgraded quite well. Since I've never played it before, I do not know the correct, you know, safest path. for this, this is a very decent shooter. And it's not, you know, definitely the level's not too bad. I have played a few Darius games, but it's not. Shooter. They also quite long. Definitely need both of those. Oh my god. Ah, those things are bloody annoying. Power up spots. Here we go. I haven't actually used a bomb yet, though, have I? That's, we may have to, um. Probably tend to our last life, too. So we've been not, not use our bombs. Yep, definitely a giant trap. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, pure ass. Oh. Well, I made it to the second boss. That's not too bad. Um, what a brilliant little shooter for the um, original Game Boy. And, you know, great fun playing it on the Game Boy players. I'm sure it would work just as well on the Super Game Boy as well. Um, when I find the bloody thing, it's in this room somewhere. Uh, so, a couple of very nice pickups. As I won't do the PSP game because. Uh, you've already had one <coughs> recording from looking at a um, portable device in this video as it is, and um, I don't want to talk to you. Um, all right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>